guys, I just wrote a post on Instagram that talked about why winter is like 11 months long and every other season is like six and a half seconds. And I felt that in my soul. Hey guys, what is up? I hope you're all having a fantastic, fantastic week so far. I'm here today because I feel like I haven't done an update, like a chatty kind of get ready with me, we'll chit chat, updates on what's been going on in so long. And so as usual, when on Insta Story, I asked you guys if you had any questions for me. You guys came through with like a ton of really great ones. So we are gonna sit down and kind of go through these put on some makeup, just chit chat, keep it casual, you know? So that's what I feel like doing. I'm at like the tail end of a cold right now. If you couldn't already tell by my voice, I will prevail. So we're gonna dive into some makeup. First, I wanted to tell you guys about my nails because you guys know I am obsessed with the Impress Press On Manicures. They are sponsoring today's video, which I am very, very excited about. I have not applied any nail polish to my nails this entire pregnancy. Like 27 weeks have not I've only used these and they just launched all of their like wintry Christmassy like holiday ones I needed to update my nails anyway, so it's like perfect timing These are the ultra fit design from impress press on manicure and basically that means that they are much slimmer So they almost mold to the contours of your natural nails and they have like a tapered edge that goes down Towards the cuticle so that it doesn't pull on anything and it stays put much longer. They're really comfortable they don't move around at all on me. They last about five days for me personally. And then you could totally leave them like this and do more of that rounded square edge. They do have a little nail file so you can like round the edges more if you want or anything like that. Super flexible. Myself personally, because I have kids, I like to trim them down a bit and then do more of a rounded edge because I find that's more flattering for my nail shape. They have so many more on the website as well. I went kind of like looking through because I'm obviously gonna buy I'm obviously gonna buy more but like they're already starting to sell out because these things go so fast like I found this adorable design it's like a navy background with like a cute little Christmas tree and it's sold out and I'm like no so just like you know like let, let me finish buying them first and yeah I wanted to share that with you guys it just it means so much to me that I get to work with brands that I use all the time and I absolutely love so I'm really excited that I got to share these with you guys today and I mean I would have anyway but <laughs> Impressed doesn't need to know that. But now that we have nails on, let's dive into some makeup and some questions. First, I need to moisturize my lips. They've been so dry because it's winter. I know it's not technically winter, but it's winter. And I think today we're not gonna test anything. I just want to use makeup that I really love and works really well for me. So I will link everything down below for you guys. I wanna start with, because it's like going on right now, um, all the reno projects we have been doing on the house. There's so many of them and they're going on like all at the same time. Ooh, actually I'm gonna do my eyes first. I just realized cause I, I'm constantly blowing my nose cause cause cold. And I'm just gonna end up with no foundation around my nose by the end of this video. So first of all, basement that was the first one that we started and we ran into a bunch of hiccups with things but we're back now and we are finalizing it on december 1st that's when lisa canning who is our interior designer um she's coming to um our area and so she's going to help me like kind of finalize everything but we've ordered all the furniture basically everything is in they're installing like a little bar area right now um and then i just have to figure out like toy storage and organization if you guys have any ideas or any tips and tricks leave them below or send me to the like dms on insta but i am in love with how the basement is looking so far the ship lap the ship lap and wait till you guys see chris's office slash game room now that again done like a lot of the decision making processes and now it's just about like execution that feels really good master bathroom is the other one that we have been working on as of recently. And basically what we've done with that is we tore it entirely down, like removed everything from it and then built it up from there. So there are like little pieces that we're trying to figure out, but we've been struggling in particular with the shower, but I'm really excited about it. It took us a long time to come up with a design for that space because, you know, so my style is more like modern farmhouse, a little industrial, a little mid-century modern kind of thing. I like very clean lines, a lot of white and dark like 
contrast. And then Chris grew up in Finland, so he has envisioned more of like a Finnish spa kind of feel, very lo lots of woods and cream tones and you know, something that's very calming. So finding a way of like bringing those two worlds together was a bit of a struggle, but I think we found something that really works well for, for both of us and I'm really excited about it. And I will be posting as more progress gets made um, on Insta Story, on Instagram and on Rachel's life, we'll be doing like big before and afters, especially in the basement. Basement is coming and that will be in December before Christmas. I'll do the before and after for you guys on Rachel's life. So go and subscribe over there if you like big reno projects because that went from like completely unfinished basement to like a guest bedroom, bar, family room, play area, games room kind of vibe. Like it's, it's going to be so good. We are also redoing the kitchen because, you know, go big or go home, I guess. Or in my case, go big in the home. And that space has been interesting because I do a lot of filming down there as well. So I had initially envisioned like a big bright, like white kitchen and then went complete 180 on that. So again, there will be a before and after up on Rachel's life when that project is done. My hope is, and what we've, we've kind of um, stopped, which I was I on, I think it was this one. We have paused work on the master bathroom because we want to get the kitchen done before baby arrives. And so that has become the primary project right now. And then, and then we don't actually have a mudroom in our, in our home. And I really wanted one just for like the kids when they come home from school and stuff to have a place to sit down, take off their boots, make it feel a little bit more organized um, because we don't have a place to kind of like stash that stuff in a way that is easy for kids to do and have them do it independently. And then Luke, who is currently in what will be the nursery, is getting moved to the guest room, which is also our office. And Luke's getting moved to guest room, guest room's moving to the basement, office is moving to the basement, and also to the main floor. I think that I think that's it. So yeah, so a lot's happening. <laughs> but Lisa, I'm telling you, she has made the whole process like fun and interesting and exciting and her enthusiasm is so infectious if you if you don't follow her go follow her on instagram lisa canning she is super mom she just moved her entire family to florida she's written a book called the possibility mom which is incredible um she's been on the today show she's an incredible interior designer and just like wonder woman she's wonder woman and then a lot of questions about how i'm feeling and um, the kids and due dates and baby and all that stuff. So let's like get into those questions next. So in terms of how I have been feeling, um, other, other than cold, which is like separate and apart from pregnancy, I have been feeling really good. As you guys know, if you've been watching my other videos, I was really sick in the first trimester. Um, and just was not feeling really well, which is why you know, videos were kind of in and out and I wasn't really that active online um, just because I was trying to be as stress-free as I could be in that time. I am on week 27, which is just crazy to me. That's, we're so close to like the home stretch, like the, the final trimester, that's nuts to me. This pregnancy has gone by so quickly and when I was sick not quickly enough and it feels like we're just like flying now into the third trimester and then all of a sudden it's going to be February which is when my due date is and so I am patiently but impatiently waiting for February I'm try not to like rush these months long you know because there's like a lot of things that I'm looking forward to Christmas Luke's birthday New Year's obviously like just a lot of like holiday related things that you know I want to also be like mentally present for but I'm excited for newborn babies no more babies baby's been bouncing around kicking around being really active and over the top um I have been asked a lot about doing like a gender reveal and talking a little bit more about that and the reason that I haven't said anything yet is because we had to do another ultrasound because there was um, a couple of little 
measures that were off with one of my ultrasounds or no one of my blood works so we had to have another ultrasound um, and so I've been waiting on the results of that um, because it's just something that I have been worried about um, so just waiting on that and some more blood work um, but baby is healthy and I'm healthy like for the most part um, so I, it is coming soon I am I probably honestly I think I'm gonna do one on Instagram so go follow me over there if that's something that you're interested in and you're excited about uh, I know I'm excited about it so um, Instagram that's where it'll be a lot of questions as well about the other cadoodles and how they're doing um, Julia is in school and doing great thriving making frienders um, you know all that fun stuff she's uh, my quieter child so um, she doesn't really care if she has friends or not which I think is like the best thing ever as a parent you know she's just like I don't know I'm gonna watch kids whatever and then Luke is in preschool and he's my more like bubbly over the top you know outgoing kid uh, so he's been loving all these renovations. There's just, just new people in the house all the time, more people to chat with. They're gonna learn skating this year, which I'm excited about. I, I won't be personally taking them out, but my sister was a um, fairly high level figure skater for a really long time. And Chris plays hockey and his dad, like we're all, I don't know what happened there. But I feel like skating is such like a classic winter sport. And I feel like they're at an age now where they can at least like test it out a little bit. So very, I'm, I'm excited to see them on ice. I'm using my Thrive Cosmetics liquid lash extensions. As you guys saw in the video where I went through digging through my drawer, I've been using this one a lot. This is one of those gems. And sometimes it just feels good to go through the drawers and like rediscover things that, you know, maybe I really liked a lot but then new things came along, had to test those out, and it kind of got forgotten. So I like doing those types of videos every once in a while. It seems like you guys really enjoyed it too, so that makes me really happy. So maybe I'll do more of those. All right, brows are done, because I can't talk and do brows at the same time. I also added some um, eyeshadow to my lash line. I got carried away and forgot that I didn't have the camera on anyway. Okay, let's get into some more questions. Um, how are Luke and Julia dealing with the new baby on the way? They're excited. I think Julia no like understands more about what's going on than Luke does. Like he's excited, but I don't think he really understands why. <laughs> but he loves babies, so it's it's going to be great. What's the hardest part of this pregnancy? How is this pregnancy different from your previous ones? Um I think that the first two I I'm trying to think of like they were very I feel like they were very similar to each other in that I was a little bit sick, I was really tired. I had different cravings for both of them, more like salady veggies with Julia and more like sweets with Luke. And then I think with this one, the difference is just having gone through what I did uh, last November or end of October with the miscarriage of Michael, I, uh, I feel like I'm just more cautious I'm more aware that things can go wrong and I think that just puts me a little bit more on edge with this pregnancy than in past so like if baby isn't moving for a while and this baby is very like sleeping or like bopping there's just no in between so like before it was just like oh it's fine whatever like they're sleeping it's totally fine um and just now I'm just more nervous about it uh do I have a birth plan? Uh, I have the, <laughs> I have the paperwork to fill out for a birth plan. Should probably do that at some point. My plan is probably the same as I did with Luke and with Julia. I'm, you know, open to epidural and in a hospital. End of list. How do you manage having two young kids and another on the way as well as two YouTube channels? I think the same way anyone manages having a busy schedule and things on the go, you need to learn time management skills and you need to learn priorities and prioritizing time and things. Like I have shifted the number of videos across both channels. Um, I have increased 
by doing so, I've been able to increase the time spent with my kids um, and also focus on keeping me in as calm of a state as possible with this particular pregnancy. Um, and that has been really good. This has been a really good balance for me right now. And as you guys have seen, I've been doing this for like 10, 10 years now and like it shifts it changes and like I'll increase more videos and then I'll shift them a little bit and it's just like an ebb and flow and I feel like that's the only way to get anything done you can't get all of it done at a hundred percent that's just not possible no one can do that and I think that so many times we expect that we should be able to do that and we're like yeah we can keep the house clean and also raise a bunch of kids and have a full-time career like we can do all of that for sure, but then you don't take care of yourself or your relationship or something Something will drop. So when I was doing three makeup videos a week, doing the Rachel's Life stuff, like I was dropping the ball at home and I needed to shift a little bit just to balance that more. Who's brought me Clementines? He's a nice boy. I know he's not really on this channel. Um, he's a lot on my Rachel's Life channel because it's cooking, it's something he's passionate about. He has no passion for makeup, so like he doesn't show up on this channel very much. But yeah, he is a nice boy. What was your favorite tasty uh, trying out video? So um, for my Rachel's Life channel, I test out a bunch of tasty recipes, which is a channel that Buzzfeed runs where they do a bunch of interesting recipes. I think m one of my favorite ones that I have done, number one was the two day cookie recipe. Oh, those were great cookies. And I am a cookie connoisseur. And I also really liked the noodle recipe that we did. And it was this incredible broth that had so much like depth of flavor to it. It was so good. Chris and I like demolished it. I have a soon to be one year old girl. Any tips for Christmas, like Christmas presents? Um, Ooh, okay. I feel like a lot of times, even if you don't have kids, you might know a friend who has kids or you're an auntie or uncle and you just, you don't know what to get these kids. And I get it, I was there. One of my favorite brands is um, Melissa and Doug and they create a lot of like really good quality products for a variety of different age groups. And I have so much of their stuff that I have purchased over the years for my kids and they still, love all of them like they have some really cute like um reusable sticker packs that my kids use they have um puffy stickers that are reusable they have great wooden blocks and puzzles and just like so much good stuff so i highly recommend checking their brand out kid craft is another one the kids have a like a little kitchen set um by kid craft with k's like kardashians uh top pregnancy outfits Ooh, this is a good one because I basically live in the same thing. Pregnancy leggings are a must. My personal favorite is motherhood maternity. They have one that has like a big, like stretchable band that goes over the bump as well. So I really like that. And then a big sweater and it doesn't necessarily need to be like maternity unless you like really like that style, like the ruching and stuff. Um, but just like big sweaters and stuff for winter. Like I live in it. Tips and tricks for new moms. I'm getting so many mom questions. I love it. I have done a whole bunch of videos on Rachel's life all around new mom tips and tricks, my labor and delivery stories for both Luke and Julia. I've done pregnancy updates for Luke and Julia on that channel as well. So I will link all of that baby stuff for you guys, the playlist down below. If you are interested, all of my best tips and tricks are there. What was a part of the process of making the highlighter palette that you didn't expect? Excellent timing because that's the next step. I was really new to the whole process of making a makeup product and I was excited about that. It was really fun working with a brand that A, I already love, but B, is so knowledgeable about this space and the development of products and the timing that goes into it and the number of different teams that are involved in the execution process of it was really staggering to me, but I had full reign over literally every step. I could be as involved as I wanted. Some people are more involved, some people are less involved. I was very, very involved. Probably more than Pixie would have liked, but I I flew out to LA a whole bunch um, just because I wanted to test out the products in person and make sure that I knew 
what was going into them and how they were being pressed and what the shades looked like on different skin tones and how they applied wet and dry and just every aspect of the formula of the product and that was really important to me and they supported me so much on that whole journey um, but also in the packaging I had a very specific way in which I wanted the highlights to be presented because it's a layering palette I wanted the two bases to be large and then I wanted the diamonds at the top that sort of were the mixing shades that you can deepen or lighten brighten and all those fun and like the fun pop of color was zipper um, and then you can mix with those shades and so that was a new design like that's not one that they had sort of in their roster from you know like of, of a bank of different palette sizes and things that Pixie has utilized in the past this was a brand new one that they created for this palette and that was really cool that they like supported my vision and really wanted to help be a part of that execution of it um and i think the the quality of it is incredible i am obsessed with my palette as you guys know i use it almost in every single video unless i'm like testing a specific highlight from another brand um but this is basically the only highlight that i use and i am very proud of it and i feel like i should be you know like if you spend a lot of time on a particular product and you feel confident about it, then you should feel proud about it. That's an accomplishment. That's something that you did. And so I am very happy with how the palette has turned out. I'm really happy with how you guys have been taking to it. And I see all of your photos and all of your videos and everything on Instagram um, all the time. And it makes me so happy. Um, I see it in stores near me, which is cool. Sometimes I'll see it like sold out and that is also really exciting. So it means a lot to me that you guys are really excited about it, that you love it. That was like number one for me and that you want more. Like I've been getting questions like asking when the next collab is coming out and the next product and to have your trust in me and the process and the the time and effort and diligence I put into these products and you guys knowing that it's always going to be there means a lot to me. Then let's set setting spray. More. I always do that. Why do I always talk while the product is being applied to my face? Rachel. Ooh, lippy. This is one I've been really loving lately. This is by NARS. This shade is called Belle du Jour. It's a sheer and like it's such a pretty like super nude but kind of pinky like not pinky peachy almost but i've been obsessed with it recently like obsessed a little glossy gloss right in the center there boom this is fun i love like sitting down just like catching up you know if you're at the end of this video and you're you're, you're hearing this right now leave me a comment down below because i am impressed that you sat through all of my chattering MVP. But if you've missed any, check out these videos on the side if you are like me and just sitting on the couch, maybe with your doggo and like a big snuggly blanket watching YouTube videos. That to me is like the ultimate for watching YouTube videos. Doesn't get much better than that. Ooh, with ramen though. Okay, it does get a little bit better. You have to add the ramen in. Anyway. But I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah!